If your boat breaks down on the water or far from a marina, chances are you'll be the only mechanic available. But even the best amateur engine technician can do little without the right tools and some basic spare parts. The key to stocking spare parts is knowing your boat well and knowing what parts might fail. Unlike more mechanical things, an electrical failure is hard to predict. One day it works, and the next day it doesn't. So boaters should carry a selection of replacement bulbs and fuses for cabin and navigation lights and electrical systems. For those quick fix situations to help you make it back to port, that well-known lubricant WD-40 and the all-purpose fastener duct tape are the staples of any boater's toolkit. Also included should be some electrical tape, a few hose clamps, a selection of screws, nuts and bolts, and a roll of lock wire that can be used to hold almost anything together. There are two types of boaters, those who have hit their props and those who are going to. So it's essential to carry a spare propeller, a prop washer, a prop nut, and extra shear pins if applicable to your engine. Also mark your prop wrench so you can identify it easily, or better yet, get one of the floating types. If you're outboard powered, a bad spark plug could leave you stranded. So carry extra plugs and a spark plug wrench. An emergency starting rope is also a good idea. You'll also need a variety of screwdrivers, pliers or vice grips, an adjustable wrench, a rag and an emery cloth. If your boat is big enough to let you carry more tools, choose them carefully. Remember, you won't be rebuilding the engine or systems, just getting them working well enough to get home. Of all the tools you'll carry, this one might be the most useful. It's your owner's manual, and it won't just help you make those quick repairs to get home, it'll also tell you how to keep your boat in top running order to avoid those surprise repairs on the water.